Namaste from Joy of Reading. Today's story is The Story of the Toothpaste. Original publisher Pratham Books. Author Veena Prasad. Illustrator Rajiv Aipe. Relevel Gurpreet Kaur. And the publisher is Story Weaver Community. Toothpaste. All of us use toothpaste to brush our teeth. What is the story of toothpaste? How did it get into this tube? Let's find out. Wake up, brush your teeth and get ready. Most of you must be waking up to this every morning. So what happens in the morning? Your parents come and say, get up, go brush your teeth, get ready, right? So most of us will be waking up to this and even these two children as well. Even 150 years ago, children woke up to a similar routine. But what happened after that was very different. Instead of toothbrushes and toothpaste, their mothers handed them tooth sticks and jars of toothpaste. So this was the same story even 150 years back. But then instead of getting a toothbrush and toothpaste, they got here you can see in this picture tooth stick and the toothpaste is in a jar and not in a tube. That's right, tooth sticks. They used tooth sticks to clean their teeth back then. A tooth stick was simply a twig with a frayed end. Sometimes they tied boar hair to one end for that extra shine. So a tooth stick is like this. It is just a simply a twig or a piece of stick with a frayed end. So the frayed end is nothing but, you know, the stick is cut like this, you know, into this shape. So sometimes they tied boar hair. Boar is nothing but a wild pig. So that it can give you some extra shine, it seems. Interesting, right? And toothpaste tubes were not invented yet. Instead, they had jars filled with toothpaste. So they dipped the tooth stick into the jar and brushed their teeth. So at that time, toothpaste tubes were not there or they have not been invented first. No one had made them at that point of time. They only had these big bottles or jars that had the toothpaste and everyone will put their stick into the jar, take the toothpaste and then brush the teeth. Every other member of the family dipped their stick into the same jar. So all of them dipped the stick into the same jar. Is it good? Hygienic? Think about it. Isn't that disgusting? Yes, it is. One morning, a boy named Lucius refused to use that jar anymore. He declared, I will use tooth powder. But the problem remained in his mind. There must be a better way to use toothpaste, he thought. Lucius, this boy here, was found it disgusting, yucky. He refused. He said, I don't want to use this. And he switched to tooth powder. But he kept thinking about the problem. So Lucius is the son of a dentist, Dr. Sheffield, and is from Connecticut in the USA. A few years later, Lucius went to Paris. He was studying to become a dentist. There, he saw artists squeezing paint from metal tubes onto their paint brushes. He came up with an idea. So Lucius Sheffield, he went to Paris to study to become a dentist. So there he saw these artists, the artist here is a painter and what they were doing, they were squeezing paint from these metal tubes and, and then they were using their paint brushes. Um, so looking at this, he got a sudden idea. 
why couldn't the same type of tube be used to hold toothpaste? There was a small problem. How do we get the toothpaste into the tube through that little opening? You might have wondered about this yourself too. When you squeeze too much toothpaste and you have toothpaste all over the sink. So what did Lucius think? He, think, he thought that he can use the same type of tube to put the toothpaste in. But there was a small problem. How to put the toothpaste into this tube? And probably when you have squeezed a lot of toothpaste and you want to put it back, you also think about this problem, right? So look at Lucius thinking about it. There was a much better way without opening the cap. They opened up the other end. It was easier to fill the toothpaste from the bottom end because it was larger. So what idea did he come up with? So all he needs to do was fill it up from this other end, right? So this is big enough for, the, for, for us to put the toothpaste inside. And then you have to just seal it up so that you can now squeeze the toothpaste from this smaller end. Isn't that neat? Today, toothpaste tubes are filled using machines. All the empty tubes are lined up on a conveyor belt with their caps downwards and the unsealed end pointing up. A big container filled with toothpaste is fixed above the conveyor belt. So these days, how do they do it? There is a big conveyor belt. A conveyor belt is something that keeps moving like that at a specific speed. So all these tubes uh, are kept like this with the bottom end being open. And then there's a machine which has this big tub of uh, toothpaste holding it in some kind of uh, uh, jar or a big uh, tub or a big container, right? So that starts pouring toothpaste into these tubes Toothpaste is filled into these tubes as they move along the conveyor belt. But the paste is not filled all the way to the brim. About half an inch is left so that it can be sealed. Now the tube is ready to be squeezed. So, so they fill it up right from this end and they give some gap of an inch at least so that this tube can later be sealed. So they don't fill it up to the brim. Brim meaning up till this very end. When you take a glass and then pour water, if you say if you're filling it up to the brim, there's no space. You're just pouring the water completely. So similarly, you're not filling this up to the brim or till this point here. You're leaving some gap here so that it can be sealed, closed like this. Ancient Indian wisdom for good teeth. Many people in India use datun, the twig of a neem or babul tree, instead of a factory made brush. Datun keeps teeth and gums healthy. Look at the pack of your toothpaste or powder. You will see a list of herbs and spices that are good for teeth. Mint, clove, cinnamon, black pepper, and tulsi. Eating fibrous fruits and vegetables like apples and carrots is good for cleaning teeth. So in ancient India, we used to use the twig or the stick of a neem tree. And, uh, and that neem tree has so much, so many medicinal properties that they keep our teeth and the gums healthy. So now take the toothpaste that you're using and find out what ingredients they have. What are the list of things that make your toothpaste? So you can see like here, like mint, 
Um, this is clove, this is cinnamon stick, this is black pepper, and this is tulsi. So these are all good set of herbs that your toothpaste may contain. And then eating fruits like apple or vegetables like carrot also helps the teeth be clean. Fun with toothpaste caps. So if you are into collecting toothpaste caps, there are many, many ways you can use it, like playing tic-tac-toe or doing some creative thing with that, or even creating some patterns on paper. So have fun with it. I hope you like the story along with me. Thank you. Difficult words. Twig, a thin piece of wood. Frayed, become worn at the edge. Invent, create something new. Dentist, doctor for teeth. Refuse, indicate not willing to do something. Try these questions. What did Lucius invent? Check the internet and write a couple of lines on Lucius T. Sheffield. Thank you.